The British came to one of the richest countries in the world, uh, accounting for 27% of global GDP in 1700, uh, 23% in 1800, and over 200 years of exploitation, depredation, loot and destruction, reduced it to a poster child for third world poverty, uh, just over 3% of global GDP, 90% of the population living below the poverty line when the British left in 1947. Give me the loot. The power, give me the sickness, I want you all Look at the peasants, Indian misfits, British East Indian Death wish, we're taking over your bodies You're lying like dead fish 32 million dead before we exit And the movies made of the holocaust But all of them lay in the court, your blood soaked The kids cry, dad saw the bullet go right through the kids eye And more soldiers come by the one door to get by darkness the blinds and day light the story is unknown cause we only see but they right right close the blinds and day light the more we know our history the more we can take flight flight we speak of education and literacy rates below 17% and a life expectancy of 27. The growth rate of British India from 1900 to 1947 was 0.001%. That's what they were doing by draining the country of taxes and resources. Education, my gosh, the British, the last thing they wanted to do was invest in educating Indians. The entire expenditure of the British on education in India, from the nursery level to the highest universities, was less than half the high school budget of the state of New York. Let it go.